Welcome to the World of Good Times, a 1974 television series that left an indelible mark on the industry. Have you ever found yourself reminiscing about a cherished memory associated with this iconic show? Perhaps it's the infectious laughter, the relatable characters, or the timeless themes that made it a household favorite. What enduring qualities do you think make Good Times an everlasting symbol of the industry? As we explore the show's impact, consider the timeless elements that have etched it into the collective memory of television enthusiasts. Now, let's delve into some random facts about this classic series. Created by Mike Evans and Eric Monty, Good Times revolves around the struggles and triumphs of the Evans family living in the Chicago housing projects. The show skillfully tackled social issues of the time, weaving humor and heart into its narrative. Notably, Good Times stands out for its realistic portrayal of African-American life, breaking new ground in television representation. The dynamic cast, led by John Amos and Esther Roll, brought authenticity and warmth to their roles, contributing to the show's enduring popularity. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Good Times? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts on how this timeless series left an impact on your life. So, join us in celebrating the legacy of Good Times, a show that not only entertained, but also resonated with audiences across generations. What makes this show special for you? Let us know and let the nostalgia flow. Good Times, a classic American television series that first graced screens in the mid-70s, emerged as a vibrant and socially resonant sitcom that delved into the lives of the Evans family, a working-class African-American household living in the Chicago projects. Developed by Eric Monty and Mike Evans, the show's genesis can be traced back to the earlier hip mod. With a unique blend of humor and social commentary, Good Times showcased the challenges and triumphs of the Evans family, especially the indomitable Florida Evans, portrayed by Esther Roll and her husband James, played by John Amos. The series was renowned for its unflinching portrayal of contemporary societal issues, including poverty and racism, all while weaving in laughter and heartwarming moments. The character of J.J. Evans, portrayed by Jimmy Walker, introduced the memorable catchphrase Din O' Might and became an iconic emblem of the show. Though Good Times concluded its run in 1979, its cultural impact endures as it remains a touchstone for discussions on representation and social issues in television, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of American sitcoms. Jimmy Walker's spirited catchphrase Die No Might from the mid-70s sitcom became a cultural phenomenon, earning the 14th spot in TV Guide's TVS 20 Top Catchphrases. Walker's character, J.J. Evans, left an indelible mark on the show, embodying the essence of good times with his lively expressions. While Walker's catchphrase resonated, the casting of Esther Roll and Janet Dubois added an interesting dynamic. Despite their characters being of the same age on the show, Roll was 25 years older than Dubois. This casting choice showcased the actor's skill in bringing the Evans family to life, navigating the challenges and triumphs of a working-class African-American household in the Chicago projects. Beyond the original series, the legacy of good times continued in unexpected ways. In an episode of The Wayans Bros, titled Unspoken Token, Sean dreams of being J.J. Evans. Bernadette Stannis, Johnny Brown, and Janet Dubois reprised their roles, with Dubois also taking on a recurring role as Sean and Marlon's grandmother. This crossover highlights the enduring impact of the show and its characters. J.J., Walker's catchphrase, the unique casting dynamic, and the crossover in the Wayans Bros. all contribute to the ongoing cultural significance of the 1974 TV series Good Times. Each element adds layers to the show's portrayal of societal issues, making it a timeless touchstone for discussions on representation and social challenges in television. Janet Jackson brought a humorous twist to good times on SNL. In a spoof, she portrayed Penny alongside Maya Rudolph as Wilona, Tracy Morgan as Bookman, and Kenan Thompson as Florida. The skit mocked the sensational and stereotypical aspects of the series, portraying the ghetto as a cursed war zone with characters facing crime, illness, death, and destruction. This lighthearted take showcased the enduring impact of good times on popular culture, proving its ability to transcend its original format and resonate in unexpected ways. Die No Might resonated beyond the TV screen, turning into a cultural phenomenon. The catchphrase became so iconic that it inspired the creation of Dynamite, a popular children's magazine that ran from 1974 to 1992. 
Jimmy Walker, the man behind the memorable phrase, even graced the magazine's cover in April 1975. The widespread popularity of Died No Might not only showcased the impact of good times, but also left a lasting imprint on children's pop culture during its heyday. Esther Roll, who portrayed Florida Evans in the iconic 70s sitcom, expressed her concerns about the character of J.J. in a 1975 Ebony magazine interview. She criticized the portrayal, stating that the character, an 18-year-old who doesn't work, can't read or write, and lacks critical thinking, evolved into a more stereotypical and unintelligent figure over time. Roll asserted that the show's original intention did not include such negative portrayals. In response, Jimmy Walker, the actor behind J.J., defended the character in his autobiography, Dynamite. Good times, bad times, our times. Walker pointed out that J.J.'s mischievous activities weren't overtly criminal and highlighted the character being shot for refusing to join a gang. He also questioned whether characters like the fonts from Happy Days were seen as negative portrayals of white youths. This controversy surrounding the character's portrayal adds depth to the social commentary of the series, addressing the challenges of representing African-American youth on television during that era. Despite differences in perspective, it underscores the show's impact on discussions about racial stereotypes in the media. John Amos, known as James Evans in the 1974 TV series, initially appeared as Henry on Maud. Interestingly, James' father in the show was also named Henry. Originally, Esther Roll, who portrayed Florida Evans, was raising the family alone. However, due to trouble between creator Norman Lear and John Amos, James was killed off during the third season. Roll's insistence on having a father figure in the series led to her character becoming a single parent anyway. This behind-the-scenes dynamic sheds light on the challenges faced during the production of the show. The clash between Norman Lear and John Amos altered the trajectory of James Evans' character, impacting the portrayal of a working-class African-American household. The shift in family dynamics on screen mirrored the off-screen tensions, providing a unique perspective on the complexities involved in creating a classic sitcom. John Amos' transition from Henry to James and the subsequent changes in the Evans family structure became a crucial element in the narrative of good times, reflecting the intricate interplay between creative decisions and the realities of television production during that era. As we bid adieu to this nostalgic journey through the cherished series that has left an indelible mark on our hearts, I invite you, dear reader, to traverse the corridors of your own memories. Let the laughter and tears, the struggles and triumphs painted by the vibrant characters of yesteryear, resonate within the canvas of your mind. Perhaps it's the infectious laughter of J.J. or the unwavering resilience of Florida Evans that echoes in your thoughts. Or maybe it's the community spirit that brought the Evans family together in a tight embrace, mirroring the bonds we hold close in our own lives. As we part ways with this time capsule of television, take a moment to reflect on the timeless themes that have seamlessly woven into the fabric of your own experiences. Feel free to share your musings, your cherished moments, and the impact this series has had on your journey. Let the stories unfold beyond the screen, connecting us in the shared tapestry of human connection. Your thoughts, like ripples in a pond, create a dialogue that transcends time and space, reminding us that the resonance of good times goes far beyond the limits of the small screen. Thank you for embarking on this voyage down memory lane with us. Your time and reflections are the beating heart of the narrative we've explored together. Until our paths cross again, revel in the richness of your memories and the joy that the essence of good times has brought to your life.